with the gas volumes and the question states that there's a sample of 10 cmq of each of the first four, first four members of the alkane series so the first four members of the alkane series uh, that would be uh, let's write them down they, they would be methane ch4 after that you would have uh, ethane which would be c2 and h6 and after that there would be propane which is c3h8 and then butane which would be c4 and h10 so these are the first four members of the alkane series and they are separately mixed so they are separate reaction with 70 cm cube of oxygen so they are mixed with 70 cm cube of oxygen each is then burned and the total volume V of residual gas measured again at room temperature and pressure and he's asking which graph represents the results that would be obtained. So he's talking about the residual gas, that is the gas that is remaining at the end of the reaction. So each of the four, first four are being reacted with uh, 70 cm cube of oxygen. So uh, there are four graphs given. So we're going to come back to the graphs later. The first thing we need to do is we need to construct equations. So we have CH4, that's the first one. It reacts with O2 and produces, it produces CO2 and H2O, uh, remember the volumes are being measured at room temperature, so H2O is a liquid, so we are not going to actually measure the volume of H2O, CO2 is a gas, similarly O2 is a gas and methane is also a gas, now now what the question states is that you have, we need to balance the equation for, as well, so CH4 with CH4 there would be two H2Os and two O2, that would make it a balanced equation, now what the question is stating is that you have you have 10 cm cube of methane and it's reacting with uh, 70 cm cube of O2. So uh, remember that uh, for gases, the mole ratio and volume ratio is, is going to be exactly the same. So one methane reacts with two O2. So 10 cm cube is going to react with 20 cm cube, which means that if 10 reacts with 20, so 50 cm cube of oxygen would be left behind. So 10 reacts with 20 and it would produce 10 cm cube of CO2 and it would produce, uh, we're not going to talk about H2O because we're talking about gases. So let's leave H2O because it's a liquid at room temperature. So 10 cm cube of CO2 gas is going to be produced. So remember for gases, mole ratio and volume ratio is, is going to be exactly the same. One reacts with two produces one. So 10 reacts with 20 and produces 10. 50 cm cube of oxygen would be left behind. So the residual gas for methane the residual gas, the amount of gas that is remaining at the end of the reaction is going to be, it's going to be 10 cm cube of CO2 plus 50 cm cube of uh, O2, which would be equal to 60 cm cube. Now, if we come back to the graphs and if we look at the graph and he's talking about methane, so let's, uh, let's check for methane in each of the questions. So over here you can clearly see that it's not uh, 60 cm cube. This is also the amount of residual gas remaining is also not 60 cm cube. There's only one option where where uh, the amount of residual gas after after burning 10 cm cube of methane with 70 cm cube of O2 is 60 cm cube. So there's only one option that gives that answer and that makes it D is going to be the correct answer. But we're going to uh, uh, we're going to uh, uh, confirm our answer by look uh, by doing the same thing for C two H six and figure and figuring out whether if you look at C two H six and if you check the graph, then you would notice that uh, for C two H six, fifty five cm cube of uh, residual gas remaining at the end of the reaction is given. So let's confirm that. Let's confirm our answer. So the residual gas for C two H six is going to be so C two H six reacting with O two and it would produce carbon dioxide and H2O and again H2O is a liquid so we are not going to consider that when we are uh, measuring the gas so there would be two CO2 molecules three H2O molecules so that would be seven so this would be 3.5 O2 molecules now according to the ratio one reacts with 3.5 O2s and produces two CO2 so th so the volume ratio is also going to be exactly the same so what, you, what the information that's given is that you're reacting 10 cm cube with 70 cm cube of O2. So according to the reaction, 10 cm cube would react with 35 cm cube and 35 cm cube of O2 would be remaining at the end 
of the reaction because it's in excess. So it's 1 ratio 3.5. So 10 would react with 35 and it would produce 20 cm cube of CO2 gas. And we're going to ignore H2O because that's a liquid at room temperature. So the amount of gas, residual gas, that's remaining at the end of the reaction is 20 cm cube of CO2 is produced and 35 cm cube of O2 is left behind. That makes it 55 cm cube of residual gas that's uh, remaining at the end of the reaction. So this confirms uh, option D to be the correct option.